Tomorrow is the start of spring and I can't wait. It's been not a cold winter, but a long winter. And I just, I love warm weather. I love being outside and, you know, doing things outside and cooking outside, hiking outside and all that outside stuff. And I, I can just do a lot more of it when the weather's warm. You know what else I love? I love an awesome knife. I, I just have a thing for knives. Today I'm gonna to show you a knife that I ordered recently. Now, let me just set the record straight right from the start. I purchased this knife. I paid full price for this knife with no agreements and just showing you this knife because it's just an awesome knife. However, I don't know how it's gonna perform and a lot of times, you know, gear's like that. You looks great, sounds great, specs look great and then you get it and you're like, uh. Not so much. Apple kind of started the packaging thing. You go all out on your packaging because it's a marketing deal. You know, when it looks like quality, uh, the mindset is it's gonna be quality. It's definitely, I, I like detail when it comes to the small things like packaging. And that's a pretty package. I recently did a review on the Valhalla Series uh, Barbecue Pitmaster knife and it turned out awesome. So I'm optimistic that this 10 inch butcher's knife is gonna turn out good as well. You can use it for other things, but this knife is designed to cut larger chunks of meat. Today, we're gonna to try it on some chicken breast and we're gonna use it on some vegetables and see the differences. But let's go ahead and see what this 10 inch butcher's knife looks like. Okay, so packaging is great, but then we take a step back with everything just kind of thrown in here. And although that's a small thing, it is a detail. Here's an advertisement with all their different products that could have been put underneath or you know somewhere else where it's not affecting the, the first impression. Now, the pen's cool. The pen would be fine, but it, I mean, it'd be better if it was like, you know, just fixed in a good location. And then of course, a, a cool sticker. Now we can see the knife and this is how it should present as soon as you open the box, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Tell me down in the comments below. Does the, the way the box was arranged, does that mean anything to you or is it, you know, whatever? Sometimes I'm a bit picky about the details. I, I definitely understand that. Uh, just let's see what you guys think. So the first thing I wanna take a look at is this handle. Now, this is a custom handle. This is an epoxy wood, a uh, hybrid handle here where no two are the same. It's like a fingerprint. Every one of them is just a little bit different. Nice inset, feels good in the hand. The next thing we want to look at is this sheath. Beautiful sheath, leather, just it screams quality, it really does. Just very nice attention to detail here. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's got the grooves to keep meat from sticking to the blade as much. Look at the detail down here by the edge. Dalstrong says that they use their D3 sharpening process to get a razor edge on this. Now, I don't know how true that is. Very few knives that I have any experience with are razor sharp right out of the box. More detail up here, look at that. Beautiful knife. They say this knife took 60 days to hand build. There's a lot of comments out there about Dow Strong being a Chinese company. Uh, from what I can tell, the owners are from Canada. So, you know, I'm not sure. I'm sure the knife is made in China because it seems like everything is. But when it comes to looks, this is a beautiful, beautiful knife. It definitely looks like there was a lot of time and effort put into it. Now, the thing I've noticed about this series of knife is it has this transition here from the handle down to the actual blade. Now, I'm not a professional when it comes to you know, making knives. I just really enjoy them. If there's anybody out there that can tell us a little bit about what's happening there, I'd greatly appreciate it. Now, what this knife has to do with Vikings, I have no idea, but 
Since I am 34% Scandinavian, I feel like I'm naturally drawn to it. I'll say this, one of the first thing people's attention are drawn to when they come in the backyard and see you cooking is the knife. I can't tell you how many times someone says, you know, that's a nice looking knife or that's an awesome knife. All right, let's break this knife in with a something just real simple, a little pepper. Just gonna give them a little, ooh, already. That was pretty razor sharp there, look at that. I mean, I, I didn't put any pressure on it. No pressure at all, just pull them back. No pressure. That's a sharp knife. That's one of the sharpest right out of the box I've ever seen. Seriously not putting any pressure on it. Hey, test number two. Let's see how it does with this onion. Again, I'm not going to put any pressure. Okay, onion's got a little more stiffness to it. Now just a little pressure. That's a sharp knife, guys. No pressure, no pressure at all. A little stiffer, but I mean, it is it is razor sharp. I mean, that's pretty thin, guys. Let's use this knife for what it was designed for, it's meat. And we got some chicken breast here. I'm gonna trim them up. Shaping them up a little bit, cutting off the straggly stuff. Ooh, that is, feel how sharp that is, right against the finger. Very little pressure. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good knife. Very good knife. stuff here tends to burn not cook evenly so this one in my opinion is sharper right out of the box than the pitmaster knife that's, that's nice just gonna push it forward just like we did now back no pressure down beautiful cut it's a good knife guys And that is your unboxing first look at the Dalstrong 10 inch butcher's knife. Do you own any Dalstrong knives? Uh, I own, I don't know, six or seven. And I love every one of them. I mean, they're just, they're wonderful knives. I, I think they're made with quality. Will you see them in a professional kitchen? Probably not because no one cares what they look like in a professional kitchen. Uh, but in the backyard when all your friends are around and you're, you're putting out some awesome food, it matters a little more. Now, I think one of the most important things for a knife is that it is sharp and has the capability of being sharp because the, the best way to get a cut is with a dull knife. It's just under $140. And here's something that's really awesome. Dalstrong provides a 120 day guarantee that you're gonna be satisfied. You can't go wrong. They're gonna ship it to you. You're gonna get it fairly quick. You're gonna try it out. You're gonna see if you like it for 120 days. This knife doesn't have a whole lot of reviews, but it does have some and all of the ones that it has that I can find are all five star. I'm off to a good start with this knife, but it's nowhere near time for me to go ahead and put a rating on it or an official review. I'll be back with that in the future. I wanna use it this summer and see what it's made of, see how it holds up, see how it sharpens when I sharpen it. Now, if you're interested in this knife, down in the video description below, there is a link that will get you to Dalstrong's site and allow you to make that purchase and it'll help the channel just a little bit. Yeah, we get paid for any purchases you make, but like I said, I bought the knife with my money. They don't even know I'm doing a video on it. I just like to show you what I use and tell you my thoughts on it. Tell us down in the comments below, what is your favorite brand knife? Because I feel like uh, brands of knives are just one of those things that, you know, it, it can ruffle the feathers of people. People love their specific brands. I, I'm not as brand loyal. I just like quality. I like things that hold up. I like things that look great. 
and uh, this knife seems to get it done. So let's see how it holds up and we'll use it in some cooks coming up in the backyard. I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. Click the share button, send this video to a family member or friend that might be interested in a cool knife like this. I mean, who's not interested in having an awesome knife, right? I wanna thank you guys for spending some time with me and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Have a great week.